No, yes, we did. Oh, yes, they Why did. are you yeah. looking at me like that, Miss Smith? They told me I need to talk to you. You represent me. Yeah. You shouldn't be giving me an evil eye. I haven't done anything to you. Yeah. Okay. These are the wrong way to Don't be sorry. How can you help us? Well, we've known about this for a long time. We haven't known about this for a long time. You've known about it for a long time and did, nothing. and did nothing. I asked you for months what was going on. And what did you tell me? Oh, I don't know what's going on. I did not. I don't know what's going on. That's what you said. So now here we are. So what can you do for us to help us in our house? Can you speak to the mayor? Because did y'all talk to uh, Marcus Butts? Marcus Butts, he's, he's the one that works for Watershed. And what can he do? He is the person that is in charge of all this. He is the person who's trying to purchase our homes. We're not interested in having that conversation. No, there's a, there's we're a interested, party that's We're interested that. in having a conversation about staying, staying in our homes. The right. same decision that the mayor was able to make for Miss Maddie, he can make for the rest of us. The plan that you and the Department of Watershed presented as needing the whole block has now been described as conceptual and easily, easily modified to accommodate one homeowner in the middle of the block, but not homeowners that, in, that live on the edge of the block. And I'm trying to figure out why I have no representation. None. Why I have a liaison? I don't need a liaison. I need representation. There's a difference. I would like for Ms. Smith to speak to the mayor and the Department of Watershed about why we need to stay in our home and represent that position, not explain to us about how much we should get or how little we should get. We've tried to meet with you. We've tried to meet with you about an alternative plan that engineers put together. You have Yes, I have. I have emailed you, Dr. Yomi has emailed you, and other members of that coalition have emailed you. We have an alternative I got the plan. Email that I got from you just said shame on Carla Smith. I oh, you got that one and some others. <laughs> so you did receive that one. Yes, I did. Shame on Carla Smith for not representing but it didn't all of her constituents. But there were other emails. Yeah, but right now, but what we right now saw what we're saying that now. If the plan can be altered for Ms. Thacker to stay, so the plan should be all for the Darling and Ms. Washington to stay with you on the edge of the block. So they can build upon with them staying if it's Dr. stay. So that's what the ask is now. That that whatever the plan for that block, let those residents stay because obviously you don't have to remove every resident and all for them to do what they try to do. The engineers basically said it can be did without all the residents being removed from that block. And so that's the ask now. These the ones who want to stay, stay. They don't make the negotiation with the rest of the family, and most of them just either of them made a deal or whatever they're going. But the one that could stay and that wants to stay, they can, they can stay. And the mayor has already agreed to Ms. Jackson. Here there's two other families right on the edge of the corner, and then uh, her house never flooded. And Mrs. Durham might get something every now and then, but not flood you know, in his yard, but not up in his house. So they don't get the flood. So they just want to stay in their home where they've been for years and years. That's all the ass is. To stay there. I think they're doing some changes. She can stay. The other people want to stay. Right. right. So we'll and they're right on the edge of the box. We're saying the same thing. They can alter the plan that way. They can be able to live in their home just like everybody else. We don't lose right. the 20 something family already in people's house. We don't want to lose these three right here. Right. We have the time. We raise our children and our grandchildren. Help raise them there. All our memories are there. All our memories are there. And so, how can we plan after they recalculate and redraw it? Yeah, we want to redraw it with them staying there. When they start doing that calculation, when they start doing that calculation, you want 206, 148, to be included in that calculation, not to be placed. 
Not this place, correct. So why should we wait for them to do the re-engineering that the mayor said they can do? That's the way they are redesigning it, redesigning it with these addresses in mind. Right, because we And that's what we want you to advocate for. Not to sit back and just let it happen. In the legislature, I guess the legislation a long time ago. You were actually No, the legislation was to acquire the homes that were the basis of the flood litigation and to start negotiating with others. The legislation was not for approval of the plan. The plan has yet to be approved. I have an email from Todd Hill stating that it's in the design and engineering phase, which means it is open to amendment. The mayor approved that when he made a decision amending it. So we're asking you as part of that process, we need someone at the table advocating for it. Yeah, there's no dollar been set aside for the plan either. So no money been set aside to even do the plan. So it could end up being a vacant lot. Like over there by the city of Avenue, that they years and years when they tore down those, those apartments over there for a flood, and they could just end up being a vacant lot. Mm -hmm. So there's no money for the for the for the uh, to implement the plan. So while we at this stage here, but if people still living there can stay there, and they they negotiate enough to get enough of the land there, let these families stay, and let's move on. And that's all we ask. Thank you. Another thing. Thank you. Right, you don't need to be on that. You don't say this mummy. She's mummy to all of us. We consider her as mummy. Those of us that don't have a mother like me, I call her mummy. She's like a mother to me. And I've been living there, me and my husband, for on thirty years. So, I've been how, how, how would you feel if it was you? Been living there, raise your children and grandchildren. All your memories are there. Or living there and And six living months. there and, and want to raise home. your child. And want to bring your baby home to your house. Carla, this is about my house. This is about our personal lives. Mm -hmm. This is very personal. And it would be nice to have some representation. Nobody trying to get no money from the city. Nobody trying to. People just trying to remain in their home. That's what it's all about. Remaining home. Ain't about nothing else but remaining home. So what is our ask? Our ask. Just to take their name off that list to be to, to be bought up or whatever. I mean, whatever, because they don't need to be part of a plan to do anything on that block. That they'll have the state that they're now. They stay there. And we gave, we got the letter to the mayor. We are asking the mayor to meet with us about staying in our home. Our ask of you is as representative for District 1, please advocate for us. Yes. Please, Carla. I'm asking you with as much humility as I can. This is stressful. And it's unfair. We don't deserve to be treated this way. We haven't done anything wrong. I'm sorry. Carla, we need your help. We really need your help. Please help.
for my mortgage, what I owe and what I can afford. This is my home. I want to stay in my home. I love people's town. I love my neighbors. It is. It is. You have influence. We are. You can reach people. You can do a word of We came a couple weeks ago and had an appointment with him, and then when we came for the appointment, he changed the terms and said he was only going to meet with Miss Maddie. But it's not a real estate negotiation. We want to stay. We don't want a real estate negotiation. He's telling us what he's going to do. And not asking us what we want to do. And we want what for ourselves what he allowed for Miss Maddie. I am thrilled that she gets to stay. Because he had she was so buying. stressed out, Carla. I've sat on Miss Maddie's porch and we have cried together. Because yep. we lost sleep yeah, and we sleep. come home and feel insecure. And living with that for years is not, there's nothing fun about it. So I was thrilled for her. I was thrilled for her and the rest of us want the same thing. That's all we're asking for.